Steve. And welcome to this episode of Cooking with Love. Today I'm in my sister Beverly's kitchen. Uh, I came over to, uh, to have breakfast with her and I volunteered to make some cheese Danish. I have a very simple, easy recipe to make homemade cheese Danish. In addition, you have the option of including fruit. So I also, uh, I'm going to make some uh, cherry cheese Danish with this. Very simple to put together, doesn't take too long. Let's get started. The ingredients to make the cheese Danish are cream cheese. I've taken this out and let it set uh, at room temperature for about an hour so it's nice and soft. Some uh, granulated sugar. And then this is a uh, crescent dough sheets. Uh, these are not the ones that are perforated, these are straight up and you can find them in the grocery store. Um, we're going to need a little bit of vanilla with this. That's to make our cheese filling. We have an option, if you want, you can also add any kind of fruit filling to your cheese danish and today I'm going to do some with cherry. And then to make the icing, we're going to need powdered sugar, a little more vanilla, and ju just a little bit of milk. Alright, let's put this together. So I've unwrapped the uh, crescent uh, dough uh, sheets and we don't even unroll them and we're going to cut this one into four equal pieces and this is going to give us eight large uh, Danish pastry. If you want to you can go ahead and cut these again into uh, another half and make 16 of the, uh, of the rolls but I like them a little bit larger. Now, turn them up on end. And we're going to just come and squish them. We're going to push them down, spread them out, and we're going to form just a tiny little lip around the outside edge. The next step is we're going to make our cream cheese uh, filling. So I have the softened block of cream cheese. I'm going to add the sugar and vanilla. And I'm using a hand mixer for this. All right. Our Cream cheese is mixed well with the sugar. And next we're going to put cream cheese in each of these buns. And we'll spread it out. And this is more cream cheese filling than you need for eight large. So you can use it for a bagel or whatnot or make more of these. Or you can cut the uh, cream cheese recipe in half if you want. Now I'm just going to spread these out evenly. I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. Now these are going to bake for uh, 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to put them in the oven and check it after 15 minutes. We want them just to be slightly browned. Our uh, rolls have finished uh, cooking. Uh, they took 20 minutes in the oven. You can see they're just lightly browned. Uh, what I'm going to do is, this is optional, I'm going to uh, use some of the uh, cherry pastry filling. And you can pick any kind of fruit filling you want to. They have apricot, raspberry, almond, etc. And we're going to do half of these with the, uh, with the cherry. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the back of the spoon and I'm just going to make a small indentation here. It's still hot. And take a little bit of the cherry and put it right in the center. And 
and that's it. Of course, you could do all of them if you want. I'm going to leave some just as plain cheese. Now, we're going to, when they totally cool off, we're going to make our icing and we put a small amount of icing on them. Our uh, Danish pastries have cooled down now. I'm going to make up the icing. We have powdered sugar. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of the milk. I'm just going to stir this until it comes together. All right, our icing is together, and this is sort of the consistency we want. It's a little bit thick. Now, we're gonna transfer it into this small baggie, and I'm gonna use this as a piping bag. All right, so I have my icing in this little baggie. Now what I'm gonna do is just snip off the very corner of the bag. And we're going to use this like a piping bag. And we're going to ice our, our buns here, our Danish pastry. All right, they're done. Now for the taste test. Our cheese Danish are ready to eat. Uh, Beverly is joining me now for the taste test and for our late breakfast. They look delicious. It looks like it came from a bakery. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. Mmm. Even better. Mm. It's delicious. It's really, really good. Mmm. And you, as you saw, very, very simple to make. It takes about 20 minutes in the oven after you assemble it, a little cooling off period, and we're ready to eat. Give this one a try. I think your family's going to love it. Great with coffee. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.